Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm just about to have a look at Pikmin 3, um, the new uh, strategy puzzle game. Um, and almost a Pikmin and his little uh, Pikmin friends. Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. We announced it last year. We showed a little bit of it last year. And we're bringing it back here again because it's launching this August. Uh -huh. It's ready to go out real soon. And it's a chance to really enjoy uh, playing the Pikmin world. You have this small army of these little Pikmin. It's, it's kind of like a family of yours you get to enjoy controlling. And this kind of strategy game, but like, there's a lot of action going on at the same time. So you have to learn to manage a lot of things at one time. What's really great though, it's all being used with the motion control, so you actually have a pointer and it's really a really intuitive way to play the game. It's a game inspired by gardening, is that right? To an extent, yes. Mr. Miyamoto did mention that it was inspired by the idea of gardening and that idea. Uh, and that's the whole the concept of the world, that you're basically these small creatures walking around in a world that's much bigger than you. So you always, and you don't know where exactly you're at, mm -hmm. but that idea of, yes, of being that really small creature and seeing things from a really lower, a different perspective than people would expect. Yeah, because my kid's really connected to the Pikmin level in Nintendo Land. Oh, yes. On the, in the launch title. And I think it was that sense to scale, perhaps being a bit smaller themselves, you know, they're really identified with being in this big world, and I thought that was really interesting. Right, so you see right now I'm using the, I'm using the, the uh, Wii Remote around like a pointer. So I'm actually able to qu very easily and quickly control where my Pikmin are, and using the Z button I'm able to call them to me. So now I have my little Pikmin following me around, and I can go get other Pikmin that are hiding over there, and they all start joining my, my group, call them around, and then I'm using the control stick to move around. And the idea is that you can actually try to get these objects by sending Pikmin to go pick it up. And you also find enemies you have to fight by throwing your Pikmin at it and they start fighting against him. And then what they're able to do is take that back to my home base. And more Pikmin are able to start growing out of there. And the big thing about the game that makes us enjoyable too is that the idea is that you're always trying to be the most efficient as possible. So even when you're playing the game, you, there's a timer, and the idea is that you want to sometimes replay these games over and over again to see how much better you can get at it. Find that best efficiency method. Try to get some rock Pikmin real quick. Yeah, so it's, it's basically a strategy game, isn't it? It's sort of dressed in this, as it's sort of cute people. So often strategy games are sort of about war and battling and shooting. But well, this is that sort of experience in a garden with cute little Pikmins. Very different aspect in that, yes, exactly. And each of the Pikmins have their own characteristics which are important to note. Because it's like red yeah. Pikmin have the ability to go into fire, rock Pikmin have the ability to break other services you couldn't break normally. Now this controller, does it use the Motion Plus control for the pointing? Yes, it is, no, it's using, it is using, I have a Wii Motion Plus controller right here right now. And so does it sort of combine that with the, with the motion, with the um, pointer bar? Correct. Yeah. I think for us as a family, when it was just pointing just on the bar alone, the younger members of the family struggled to get it on the screen. But as soon as we had Motion Plus, ah. it seemed to then it was easier because it, it could lock it in. Yes. Oops, use the wrong Pikmin. So you're progressing through the world here by collecting particular types of Pikmin and then doing things with them? Yes. So right here I'm using, I'm throwing the Pikmin, as I said before, to pick up different creatures. But now I have these new rock Pikmin as well who've joined my crew. And I can use them to break things. Like right now, if I use the red Pikmin, red Pikmin can't really break this glass. But if I start using the rock Pikmin, see how the, the red Pikmin are trying to hit it? Oh yeah, but they're not getting anywhere. Right, but if I start using the rock Pikmin, they're able to start breaking the glass down. Oh, I like it. And then I can start getting these other pieces out. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of sort of logic and problem solving, I think, involved in that. Yes, and the blue Pikmin, there's blue Pikmin, there's even winged Pikmin who can fly. And that's the idea behind this whole game, is you can always get all these different aspects and always find this new sense of discovery as you're playing through the game. And as you get better at the game, you start learning more advanced techniques to play through. But again, it's all about management. You're all doing this during the daytime. Because once nighttime arrives, you have to get all your Pikmin back to home base so that way no one they don't get eaten during yeah. the evening. Well, it's bedtime. They need to be yes. in bed. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Another important lesson for children. Very true. <laughs> So you've got that gold cherry there and you'll, yep. you'll take it back. What does that give you? So as these things, you'll see it goes in there right now. It's telling my score. The, oh, yeah. the gamepad acts as a way to, as a map. So an interactive map, you can always see where different objects are that you still have to find. So that it can help you to try to find the most efficient way to get all the items. You can also play the game cooperatively with other people. That dual screen experience we were talking about before. You yeah. see as I'm walking around, it's got a map going and it shows where other objects are. Yeah, so particularly as it's strategic, that map's going to be really important. Oh, yes, yes. It's a huge help for that in that regard. Um, and also, and as I said before, you can also play the game cooperatively. 
So you can actually play with somebody else at the same time. Uh, and along with that, you have the, now you have the ability to switch captains. So you actually, by, when you're playing cooperatively or by yourself, you can actually switch to controlling a different captain. So you can actually be doing almost three things at once. So you have to be really efficient what you're doing. And we've also now shown something called Bingo Battle. You actually do, it's, it's two players at once, but you're playing against each other and, and basically trying to get all these different items on a bingo board. And as you get, like let's say you get a strawberry that counts as one of the locations, or a marble, or, a, or a, an orange, or any kind of object you need to find. And in the missions, you can play single player or you can play cooperatively. So you could play with two players at once. And so you'd both be pointing at the same screen, would you? It would divide in half. The oh, screen nice. would divide in half, yeah. and you just have your own half. But again, you're sharing the three captains. Uh -huh. There are three captains, so that way you'd be switching between who controls which captain. And do you have separate resources for each player, or are you working together to build up the same store? You're working together. Uh -huh. You're working together now. And versus bingo battle, you're actually against yeah. each other. Thanks, that's a really nice introduction to Pikmin. And particularly for people who maybe haven't played the game before. Oh, yes. Is there a date for it when it's coming out? It comes out this August. It comes out this August. Um, and yeah, and it's a great game for anybody. As I said, you have motion control. But also, if you want to play, you can also play some using the controls on the gamepad as well. So you have a, multiple control options to find out what you like. And it comes out real soon. Classic franchise a lot of people really love. So it'd be great to see it out there. Cool. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Of course.